Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and in this specific series of videos, we are checking the dynamics with your ex. The question that I have for you right now is, is she trying to destroy you? Well, here is a surprise for you. Maybe she is. Maybe actually a part of her wants to push you into the ground. She's so freaking angry with you over God knows what. Maybe it's justified, maybe not. It doesn't matter. But the thing is that sometimes she's going to be in a place where she wants to kick your ass really, really bad. She's in attack mode, in aggressive mode. She's like a tiger. And what she wants maybe is to annihilate you, destroy your chances of meeting anybody else in the future. And so, you know, you look at it and you say, wow, this is, this is the woman I loved. I spent months or years investing in her. How come everything turns into this, you know, nasty, toxic, entangled story where there is all these horrible emotions coming into the picture? Emotions change, you know, somebody who was your friend for a while can become your enemy at another time. The waves of energy and the way uh, a connection with a human being evolves is maybe a little bit mysterious. We will check on the spiritual dynamics behind all that. But for now, understand that, yes, these emotions can be real. They can be sustained over an extended period of time. Maybe she's going to hate you, attack you, want to destroy you for the rest of her life. It's an option. It's a possibility. I don't wish that for you, but it's within the range of what's what people do, human beings sometimes enter into this anger and rage and they don't get out of it. And so you can go and try to educate her, try to direct her on how to relate to you in a different way. But maybe she wants to be angry. Maybe she wants to be to stay in this state of, of anger and rage. And sometimes she's going to use all that to attack you in social networks. She's going to spread rumors, talk to your friends negatively about you spread things, spread lies about you. And the reason why she's doing it is because she's in pain. She's frustrated. She's angry. And that's her best way, you know, attacking, being in challenging mode, being in aggressive mode is her best way to cope with the energies that she's feeling inside of her. It's a liberating force. She just like ah, wants this to get out of her system. And so she attacks. So she targets you in the process of breaking up or divorcing. And, um, you know, sometimes if you are in a divorce process, all that might go all the way to court, you know, in a divorce battle that goes on and on. This is why when I talk about the breakup dynamics, very often I will say that your life is under attack. It is your job to protect yourself. Your life is under attack. Very often that's the case. You know, it's like your mind, your space, your energy is invaded by toxic fire that is very negative for you. And so what you want to develop is ways of positioning yourself that sometimes um, you, cannot, you cannot control what's happening in her. Very often she's out of your field. You cannot influence her anymore. And so what you have to learn to do is to protect yourself. And protect yourself means putting really strong, hardcore boundaries so that her energy or her power or her life cannot access you. And uh, there are certain situations, you know, for instance, if she's spreading rumors on social networks, if she's, uh, you know, if you work together and she's, you know, turning the, the whole office space against you, you know, it's like, it can be really nasty. But so there are different things that work. The first one is to build up internal strength and power. Technique number one, you know, you go to the gym, you rebuild your strength, you rebuild your power, you rebuild your social network, you make sure that you gather strength and connection with the people who love you and they understand who you are. You know, you're probably a good person. You might have done certain things that were you know, inappropriate, it's possible that you as a human being, you did certain things that, that hurt her. It's possible. You're still human. Okay. And so you can forgive yourself. You can learn what you needed to learn from that. Communicate with your friends, communicate with your tribe, communicate with your family, make sure that those people understand who you are. And if you made certain mistakes, 
You can make it clear. You say, yeah, I was an ass. I behave in a way that was inappropriate and I don't like what I did at that moment and I regret and I will do what I can to improve myself in the future. It's possible that this is one of the conclusions that you can reach. Technique number two is don't retaliate. Don't escalate the fight. Anytime you are under attack, the possibility of escalating the fight, it means that she attacks you in social networks or she attacks you in a social situation. You are at a party or an event or social event at a dinner table with some friends and you're in the same social circle or you're at work or you know, she's your neighbor, you are interacting somehow with her, she attacks you, she starts you know, coming after you, what will you do? If you enter into fight mode and you retaliate, that's an escalation, right? And then, and then you keep on escalating until you are in a war zone with each other all the time. And that's a huge waste of energy. This is the thing. Entering into battle with your ex is one of the things that can stretch how much energy is going to be invested in the, in the breakup or divorce. Stretch it a lot. You, you could be going through a breakup that takes a month, or it could be taking five, ten years or longer. Okay? So the choice of escalating or not is a massive one. It's very, very powerful and very important to understand that if you escalate, it's going to lead to a war, most probably. And so keep that in mind. The best strategy or the best thing to do is like, if you see that there is a toxic source that is targeting you and attacking you, then take your energy and invest it somewhere else. Build up something else that is no longer interacting with that, that source. The only way or the only um, possibility for this source to keep on attacking you and be in dynamic conflict with you is if you respond. If there is no resistance, if you just go like, oh yeah, looks like somebody's angry with me. And then that force is just going to dissolve itself. It's not going to hit you, it's not going to target you, at least not on an extended period of time, because it's just going to feel no resistance and no response. And so you go on with your life, you go on moving in the direction, and you will notice that the waves of negative energy eventually will dissipate. Hopefully that's the way it works. <laughs> I know that sometimes it can get really nasty, but the idea is this, build up inner strength, build up inner power, go back to your disciplines, go back to the things that give you power, surround yourself with people who are really positive and beautiful for you, and then you start building new relationships, new connections, then you start disinvesting your energy from the sources that are toxic. I hope that makes sense. I'll see you soon.